Okay, we've done a definition for first normal form, second normal form. Let's take a look at third normal form. Now you have to read it carefully because it looks a lot like second normal form. Now in, <coughs> in third normal form, we have the same, starts off the same, R is a relational schema, F is a set of functional dependencies, X is a set of attributes in R, a is a non-prime attribute not in X. And this is an element of F closure. So if A is non-prime, X has to be a super key. Okay, so A is non-prime, X has to be a super key. That's, that's third normal form. Remember we said second, this was not a proper subset of a key. This case, this must be a super key. Now let's take a look at an example. So here we have R, A, B, C, F, A function determines B, B function determines C. Now in this case, I think it's pretty clear, the key is A, so A is prime, non-prime would be B and C. Well, doing a quick scan here, We've got a singleton attribute key, and we look at this functional dependency there. B function term is C, so we have a non-prime on the right. Left-hand side is not a super key, therefore this is not in third normal form. Okay. Let's take a look at a couple of shortcuts that make your life easier when working with normal forms. Shortcut number one. Here's a shortcut that will make your life easier. If all the attributes are prime, then we know it's in second normal form. And why is that? Because you can only violate second normal form when you've got at least one attribute that's non-prime on the right-hand side. Furthermore, we know it's in third normal form because the way we violate third normal form is we have a right-hand side that is non-prime, the left-hand side has to be a super key. So whenever you see all the attributes are prime, you know it's going to be in at least third normal form. Now we've not talked about Boyce Cod normal form and fourth normal form at this point, but that'll do for now. Here's a second little shortcut that'll make life easier. In our second little shortcut, if we observe that all the keys are singleton attributes, such as like A as opposed to AB as a key, then we'll know it's going to be in second normal form. Why is that? Because if we have a singleton key, to violate second normal form, you have to take a proper subset of a key and if that proper subset function determines a non-prime attribute, you violate second normal form. Well, if you have a singleton key, you can't take a proper subset to violate second normal form. Okay, so if we see singleton keys, then we're guaranteed to be in second normal form. Now, you can violate third normal form, but this at least guarantees second. Okay, anyway, I hope these shortcuts help you. Thanks a lot.